God bless each and every one of you wonderful people. This is the servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap, sent by Jesus, ordained by Jesus to preach the gospel, to say what he said, to deliver his message unto you. All right, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to this earth to take away all your sin. That done through his blood, his blood cleanses us from all sin. His blood is for the remission of our sin, that's what he said. To take away our sin. While we on that, doing the Holy Communion, that is not brought out in most churches. They say, they sing a song, oh, the blood of Jesus, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. It reaches to the highest mountain, flows through the lowest valley. Oh, the blood that gives me strength. It will never, never, never lose its power. But they don't tell you what that blood is for. Jesus said, this is the cup of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. The blood is to take away all your sin. Cleanse you from all your sin. It goes on to say, hallelujah. If you ain't worthy, don't you take that communion. If you got sin, don't you take that communion. Scripture say many dead and many sleep, taking it on with I'm sure Ananias and Sapphira took the Lord's supper. I'm sure Ananias and Sapphira took the Lord's supper in vain. And they did. Remember the scripture say some already sleep, some weak, sickly, because you took it in vain, because you hypocrite, because you got sin, and then up there go partake of the Lord's supper. His blood for the remission of our sin, in the wine, in the cup, he said this the blood of a New Testament. And do this in remembrance of me. That, that my blood was shed for the New Testament for the remission of your sin. And you got sin and you ain't even repented. And you going to take the Lord's Supper. I'm just analyzing the fire took the Lord's Supper and they did. In vain. Hypocrite. Uh -huh. Don't you play with God. Don't play. Don't hypocrite. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I remember I'm sure Philip, I mean Simon the sorcerer, I'm sure he took the loss up. My God, he thought the gift of God would be bought with money. His heart wasn't right. And he begged Peter, I believe it was. Praise God. And Peter told him to pray that supposedly that God, and paraphrase, that God have mercy on your soul. He will have the thought. Jesus led by example. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. All throughout Jesus' ministry, Jesus spoke about forgiveness. 
Forgive me in their trespasses. You don't forgive me. You need will your heavenly father forgive you. Forgive me. When you stand praying, forgive if you have all against in it. Or if it have all against you, either way. You know what you know you got something against somebody. You know that. You they know they done something to you, and you know they done something to you too. But don't render evil for evil. Forgive. Turn the other cheek. That means forgive. Don't render evil for evil. That don't mean strike back at them. No more eye for eye. Jesus said forgive. And Jesus lived what he teaches. When he got ready to die on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do. Father, forgive them. He lived what he preached. Father, forgive them. He had to do that. He did that for, for your benefit. He gave you an example on what to do. Remember Stephen? Stephen said, Lord, lay not this sin to their thought. That was Stephen saying. Stephen got the message. <laughs> All right, go to First Peter said, Well, I think in First Peter, Second Peter. Glory to God all day and night long. Yeah. Give me first Peter. Chapter two. And verse 21. For even I God. Oh, I God. For even here to what ye call because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. When did Christ suffer on the cross? He was going through the before he got to the cross too. Leaving us an example. That we should follow his steps. Father, forgive them. It's hard to forgive. I was thinking on this morning. Let me tell you something. I know people that's not even saved. Ain't thinking about being saved. A sinner, sinning every day. I know people like that. And people have done them wrong. I'm talking about horrible things. And they forgave them. I could call the name and they not even saved. Praise God. Nobody said you got to be hanged with the individual. What verse said, hallelujah, Jesus said, uh, 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 your brother trespassed against you. Go to him, him alone. If he repent, forgive him. It say rebuke, well, he said rebuke him. One verse said, with Jesus said rebuke him. Yeah, we got to let you know what he's done there. If you repent, if you repent, forgive me. It's a Jesus said, if they repent, forgive them. What's that talking? If they don't repent, we can't we, we cannot take you it in, back into our bosom if you don't repent. Let me make it plain to you. No, we're not going to, we're going to forgive you. We're not going to do to you what you did to us. We're not going to do that. 
if you steal from me, I come tell you, man, you stole from me. If you got out of line with my wife, I come tell you, man, you disrespected my wife. I rebuke you. And you don't repent. You say, and you say, yeah, I wish you didn't trouble so much. Yeah, and I'm going to do it again. I cannot invite you back into my home. Yet I forgive you, but I can't invite you back into my home because you did not repent. I know y'all, I know y'all, giving Luke 17. Man, there's some good teaching here, boy. There's some good teaching here. Luke 17. Look at what Jesus said. Then Jesus said, This life is impossible, but that our prisons will come. But woe to him through, through whom the our prisons come. You do, <coughs> excuse me, you do, you do wrong, something going to happen to you. You better stop it now. It were better for him to have a millstone hung about his neck and catch to the sea than that he should appear one of the little ones. The little ones. It's the disciple of Christ. Remember John said, little children, all right, come on. Take heed to yourself. We're in Luke 17, we're in verse 3. Now you take heed to yourself. Well, look, if your brother trespasses against you, rebuke him. You did me wrong, brother. You did me wrong, sister. You did me wrong, bishop. You did me wrong, pastor. Jesus said, rebuke him. If he repent, forgive him. That's an if there. Now that this forgiving ain't talking about you. Uh, it's not talking about hallelujah. Uh, if he don't repent, you still hold the grudge. That ain't talking about that. That talk about that talk about we can we can bring you bring you yeah. Peter denied Jesus three times, but Jesus <laughs> say go tell my disciples and Peter. Jesus brought him back in. Uh oh. Uh. -oh. Oh, wait a minute. I believe it was some songs of Zebedee. They said, Lord, you want us to call down fire from heaven to burn these up. Jesus, Jesus rebuked them. Say, you got the wrong spirit. You don't know what spirit you're speaking of. Jesus tell them, get on way around me. Woo! But he told Judas. He told Judas. <coughs> he, Shia. Judas didn't repent. Judas didn't repent. And he exposed Judas. And he told Judas. <coughs> what you gonna do you now? You gonna do it quickly. You don't bring them back into the fold to keep them respecting you. You don't let them back in your house. You stealing from me? Get out of my house. Forgive me. All right. Now, now if you meant it, you're not going to steal from me no more. You ain't going to keep doing what you're doing. I can receive you back in. If not, I can't receive you back in. Yet, I'm not going to seek eye for eye, two for two. You understand that. Man, there's a good teacher right here, boy. And that's Luke 17. 
Watch it. If we trespass against, they say, if he repent, forgive him. Uh -huh. If we trespass against the seven times in a day, watch this. And seven times in a day return again unto thee and say, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. This is not talking about doing the same thing seven times. And apostles said unto him, Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, if you have faith in the great must see you say the young mountain. Yeah, no, you will say to the sycamore tree, be plucked up by the root and be planted in the seed, and it shall obey you. Watch this. But which you have the servant plowing or feed cattle will say unto him, by and by, when you come from the field, go and sit down to me. And will not rather say unto him, make ready, wherein I may sub and gird thyself and serve me, till I have eaten and drunk it out, and I have a and eat and drink. Does he thank that sir because he did the thing that were commanded him? I throw not. You do your job. So likewise ye, when ye have done all those things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants, we have done that. We have done that which is our duty to do. It's your duty to forgive. Oh, I didn't mean for this to be long. God knows. Hallelujah. Hey, God, but we go. We, I had something there, but by God, hallelujah. We're going to go to Peter. Jesus forgave. Jesus did he will seek to do Judas like Judas did him. <clears throat> go to Peter, first Peter, hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God all day. <clears throat> 221. For here to well, two twenty-two. Well, yeah, twenty-one. For here to what you call because Christ all of us over us, leaving us as an example that we should follow his step. Christ said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Who did no sin, but he didn't do sin, don't you do sin. Wait, I messed up. Repent and stop messing up. Neither would God foul in his mouth. You cheated on your wife, you cheated on your husband. Did you repent? Are you continuing to cheat on? Or did you stop doing it? It's not rocket science. Who is on set by our sins on it is owned by the only tree that we be dead to sin to live unto righteousness who by strike by whose strike we are here. Live unto righteousness, not unrighteousness. Jesus practiced what he preached. People do you wrong, go to them. You did me that, that personal. You did me wrong, man. You did me wrong, woman. You ain't doing me right, whoever. You ain't doing me right, right, wife. You ain't doing me right, friend. You ain't doing me right. If they repent, all is well. We bring them back in. Glory. Another chapter by to where Jesus said that Jesus gave the parable about the unprofitable servant. The servant had messed up and he asked his master to forgive him. His master forgave him. But then when it came his turn and the people messed up with him, they had for forgiveness, but he wouldn't forgive them. He put a hand around their neck. I 
Uh -huh. See, when people repent, they stop doing and stop doing you wrong when they repent. Man, this is good. This is good. I meant for this to be short, but God knows. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He did that for our benefit. Jesus lived what he preached. Jesus was talking about God go get you. God go, God go shut up. Yo, God go get everybody put their mouth on you. But Jesus was talking no stuff like that. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Stephen said the same thing. Lay not this into that song. Now nah, I'm going to get you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your brother trap out again. You and you, you, you call him out on and he repent. It's all good. But if he continue to trap out against you, he didn't mean it. You don't forgive him. Don't forgive him, me. Don't restore him back to the place to where he was. If he's stealing from you, don't you give him an opportunity to steal no more. Don't let him back in your house. Don't you let him back in your house. He continue to steal. Don't let him back in your house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You see, and yet we forgive, we, we ain't gonna, gonna turn around and steal from you like you stole from us. Man, this thing all right. Jesus did it by, Jesus led by example for our benefit. Jesus preached forgiveness, did it cup time, hallelujah, when they did all that to him and Jesus had to show even at the point of death. Father, forgive them. That won't forgive them. All right. Thank you for being with